22-year-old Kansas City man is charged with killing two homeless men on Tuesday. Court documents say Mario Markworth allegedly killed Michael McLean and Kevin Waters with an axe. Fox 4's Sheree Honeycutt spoke with Waters' family who says he didn't deserve to die. I still love him and I always will. Denise Baker is heartbroken after her ex-fiance and friend of seven years, 52-year-old Kevin Waters, was killed on Tuesday. I just went to my knees. I collapsed. I couldn't handle it. Baker met Waters when they were both homeless years ago. I talked to him every day. We always stayed in contact, even though we broke up, because we still loved each other, and I still love him. Court documents reveal Waters was sleeping outside the Sheffield Family Life Center off Winter Road. 22-year-old Mario Markworth and 56-year-old Michael McLynn got into an argument nearby. Markworth allegedly killed McLynn with an axe and then saw Waters. It makes me very angry. But you know what? He's in heaven now, and God was with him. Now he's not hurting. And I know, I just feel that he said he loved me before he passed away because he loved the hell out of me, and I still love him and loved him too. Baker's son Joshua looked to Waters as a father and is studying chemistry at the University of Missouri-Columbia. There's not a lot of people that come into your life that you can really say this person fundamentally changed, you know, my direction in life. And he was... He definitely was that for me. He says now he's decided to move into forensics. This is just kind of one more step pushing me in that direction is uh, I could always help, you know, someone like my family. Both Denise and Joshua say Waters was homeless and he was loved. He was one of the best human beings I have ever met and he was homeless. Being homeless doesn't diminish your value. It doesn't make you less than anything, you know, anyone else. It's horrible how Kevin died. It's just horrible. Nobody deserves that. Nobody. Sheree Honeycutt, Fox 4 News. If you would like to learn more about how to help Waters' family, we will put up a link for you on fox4kc.com. Mark Worth remains in jail on a $25,000 cash bond.